Hello, this is YC, and today I'm going to bring you another economical dinner. And this is called Chili Cheese Dog Casserole. And this is going to be your grocery list that you're going to use for this Chili Cheese Dog Casserole. You're going to pick up some cheddar cheese, and then a thing of uh, a roll of crescent rolls, and some you can use Jumbo Franks, any kind of hot dog you want, just a pack of hot dogs. And ground beef, you're only going to need um, like 40% of a large container or one of those little containers that they have at Aldi. I did shop at Aldi just so you know. Um, and if you don't have one near you, you just kind of have to substitute with what I have. And then um, two cans of the mild chili beans. And, and at Aldi, the brand name is Dakota. And uh, last time I did this recipe, I used cream cheese, that works, and this time I'm using Clancy's Cheese Melt. And also, you can put diced tomatoes in it if you want or not. It's completely up to you. Um, and this meal only comes to $2.24 a serving. You literally, you cannot beat that. That's even cheaper than the lasagna I did. So $2.24 a serving, you can't beat that. Okay, and I'm going to get started and show you how to do this chili cheese dog casserole. Okay, well first you're going to spray a 9x13, and I'm using glass, and this is the Clancy's Cheese Melt from Aldi that I'm talking to you about, and if you don't have an Aldi near you, it's okay to use Velveeta, and... You, and because this is um, somewhat of a, a, a Mexican type dish, you can use the hot and spicy one if you want to. They don't have it in this, but they would in the Velveeta. Okay? And what I did was, this is a 32 ounce pack. I cut it in half, maybe even a little under half. Um, and so I used um, only half of it, which is like a pound, because there's two pounds here. And you cube it, and when you cube it, you put it in the bottom of your sprayed 9 by 13. And you can cube it any way you like. There's no special size or just cubes, you know. And then, um, of course, you cook your ground beef and you drain it. And just like in with the lasagna, I want you to add your uh, chopped up onion and your garlic after the fact, after you drain the beef. That way the flavor and everything still stays in there and it doesn't drain away with your grease that you're putting in your, in your grease pot. Um, and then uh, you put in the two cans of the Dakota Mild Chili Beans and you put in the chopped up pack of hot dogs. And what you're going to do with this is you're going to move this over to here. Okay? And you just put it across it. And you can, like I said, you can put tomatoes with this if you want, or a, a can of the, the diced tomatoes that has the, the um, basil and oregano in it. I just don't happen to have any today. And um, just like the other day, I didn't have that melty cheese. So I used cream cheese, and it turned out really good. I was surprised. Whatever you know you have on hand that is melts pretty good. Okay, this is, this is an economical meal for... Uh, the middle of a week when everybody's working and going to school and and of course right now I'm doing uh, food prep for this week because uh, it's going to be a hectic week with us trying to get ready for Hurricane Dorian and by the way she's not welcome to my dinner the Hurricane Dorian can stay away and eat dinner somewhere else okay so we'll just I'm going to go ahead and pick up the pot, pan at this point and just get it all in there. And if you want to use ground turkey, a lot of people, you know, use ground turkey, you're welcome to. If, if you're the type of person that can't have beans, just use nicely seasoned uh, beef or turkey and you can use that, you know. You have to put it, you know, fix it how you think, you know, you would like it or how it's, you know, easy for you to do. Okay and just spread it across like this, okay? And what we're gonna put on top of this is that roll of the crescent dough that I told you was in the grocery list. I have a, a hot dog piece that wants to stick to my spatula. Okay, and let me say something at this point right here too. I wanna give a big shout out to 
our wonderful friend, uh, the Pink Fairy in Ohio, because I know that on Wednesday she made chili. Well, if you made chili, by all means, use the leftover chili with this and then cut up a pack of hot dogs. You know, whatever whatever you like. Some people use the canned chili. I, I don't prefer that. I just keep that for hot dogs when you're eating a hot dog. But um, if, if, you, if that's what you like, try it out. You might, you know, your family might like that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get this on here. It's very, very simple. And uh, let's just hope that I can find out where this thing splits. And basically, you're just going to lay this on top and kind of, you know, work with it while it's on top. I hope I can see where it unrolls. Okay. Well, maybe we'll do half at a time. How about we do that? We'll just, and then we'll work it and make it go together. It'll go like that. You just, you lay that on top like that. You know, kind of like a top crust. That's all you're trying to do. And if, if you want to squish it all up and use flour and roll it out again, you can. I don't think that that's necessary because this is supposed to be an easy, simple dish with no fuss, you know? You don't want any fuss. Okay. Uh, see this? See how it likes to stick together like that? Now, the other one I did about a week and a half ago, I tried it out for y'all um, with the cream cheese. It just, un it just unrolled, but maybe because I had this can out on the counter, and it is very, very hot right now here in South Carolina. It's hot. Just So you're, you're going to do the best you can and put it across your dough, the, the, across your casserole, the best way that you can, you know. And you can see when you cut into this, there's still going to be, you know, lots of uh, breading there on top. It'll be fine. You know, it's a, it's a weekday meal, pop in the oven, kids are doing homework and everything else. Okay, and then what you do, excuse me, I'm, I, I'm so hot, I just can't believe it. But um, you put this at uh, 375 degrees for 25 minutes. And then you shred just half of one of these four ounces of some sharp cheddar cheese, or even whatever kind you like, and just sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top and in five minutes it's melted and that's it ladies and gentlemen and that is an easy economical dinner for two dollars and 24 cents a serving you can't beat that so i hope everybody has a great day if you're in the path of dorian like we may be i don't know yet um stay safe stay calm be kind to each other and help the elderly Bye-bye.